energy volunteers mobilized to send hot meals and relief items to residents affected by the recent typhoon. We learn about the emerging digital learning system in Taiwan and how students are responding to it. Welcome to Da Headlines. I'm Mary Lee Shoda. Thank you for joining us. In Taiwan, Typhoon Nasat and Haitang made landfall over the weekend and quickly passed through. Yet Pingdong County was particularly hit hard by Nasat, leaving Jiadong Township's Yanwen village severely flooded. To make sure the affected residents have food to eat, city volunteers rode on rescue boats to deliver box meals to the residents. After putting on their life vests, all the city volunteers are heading to where the flood water is deep. Bringing box meals and water, city volunteers head to Yanwen village, where the alleys look like rivers. As the residents open their doors and see these volunteers in the blue and white city uniforms, they smile with joy. As the rescue boat moves forward, the volunteers see someone waving on the second floor. The resident is stuck on the second floor. Hanging down a bucket, she asks for a box meal and a bottle of water. So the volunteers deliver more items with the bucket again. In total, they give out nearly 400 box meals, warming the hearts of the residents. Some military servicemen also take some box meals because the residents they're evacuating have not eaten lunch. <laughs> Delivering box meals and care, the volunteers' kind gesture lets the residents know they're not alone in facing the typhoon. Staying in Pingdong, Feng Liao Township's Xinlong Village is located in a low-lying area. As Typhoon Haitang drew closer, residents were asked to evacuate to safety. Thankfully, city's Jinsu folding beds were already there, prepared to give the residents a good night's rest. Currently in Pingdong, we can feel the force of the wind and rain from the typhoon. With Typhoon Nasat gone, the next typhoon is lined up looking to land. As Haitang gets closer to Pingdong's Xinlong village, the wind and rain has picked up. The waves against the embankment rise higher and higher, with the residents escaping to temporary shelters. Unable to begin cleaning up their home, these residents have been asked to evacuate once more. Thankfully, relief items are plentiful here. I have a bed to sleep in. It's a good bed and doesn't easily break. In my heart, I want to say thank you. Tzidi has been so kind to us. Thank you so much. The Jinsu folding bed given last year is being put to good use again this year. 92-year-old Mrs. Chen is very grateful. If the portable beds weren't available at the shelter, seniors with mobility issues could only stay on the platform to rest. Thankfully, the beds are thoughtfully designed and portable, giving these evacuees a more comfortable place to rest. During the break of when Typhoon Nasat left and waiting for the arrival of Haitang, city volunteers used their time wisely and visited some volunteers who were affected by the wind and rain to ensure everyone was safe and sound. <laughs> Presenting gifts from the Jingse boat, city volunteers are here to visit 78-year-old Deng Jiangshan and his wife, who are themselves city volunteers. The two just had cataract surgery and was given a fright when Typhoon Nasat hit Pingdong. I couldn't see well and was afraid of lights. The rain yesterday came pouring down. In just two hours, it was over a few hundred millimeters. It was about the same level as that of the Typhoon Morocco. I'm 
We know many of our Dharma family members were flooded and are victims in this natural disaster, so we began to conduct home surveys to see how they are. The volunteers next visit Sister Chen Tai Chou Yun, who has already cleaned up her flooded home, but is still vastly affected by the night. The master always says, we don't know if tomorrow will arrive first or impermanence. That phrase kept coming to me, so I just worked and worked. Ciji volunteers break up into teams of three to visit 21 solitary seniors and more elderly volunteers at home in Pingdongs, Donggang and Lingbian. And though some volunteers themselves are victims of the typhoon, they still venture to care for others in hopes their charitable deeds can further decrease damages. Before Typhoon Haitang made landfall, Ciji volunteers in Xizhi of New Taipei City brought dry food to care for some care recipients. In addition, the volunteers also helped some of them repair their roofs and install new electrical wires. <laughs> It is Mr. Pan's biggest wish to keep his house intact and sleep well after a night of the rainfall and storm. As his house is over 40 years old, it leaks whenever it rains. Worried about his safety, the volunteers help him repair the roofs and install new electrical wires two weeks ago. We came here today to check whether this sheet metal house is typhoon resistant. Now I can sleep safely and I feel at ease. Thanks Ji brothers and sisters for helping us. Compared to the past, it has vastly improved. Knowing that he can sleep well, we also feel relieved. To ensure everything has been well prepared for the typhoon, the volunteers accompany Mr. Pond to check the roofs, electrical wires and the water tank. The volunteers then walk into the mountainous area of Xizhi district. Because of the rain, the narrow pathway has become muddy and has ground moss everywhere. So every time it rains, I usually park my car here and walk up there. This narrow pathway can only allow one person to pass through at a time. Even though it is raining, the volunteers are still concerned about the care recipient's safety. Here are some instant noodles and cookies. The typhoon is not yet gone, so try not to go out at night. I have been afraid of the typhoon days since I was young because I cannot sleep at night. They are afraid that if the branches of the wax apple trees fall down to the electrical wires, there will be no electricity at their home. In addition, they drink the mountain spring water, so if the water pipe is blocked, there will be no water. So we must help them clean the water pipe. With the care and blessings of the city volunteers, the care recipients can get through the difficult days brought by Typhoon Nesat and have no worries about the invention of Typhoon Haitang. After Typhoon Nesat passed through Taiwan, it made its way over to Fujian, China. Local Weather Bureau warned of the highest level of typhoon warning, and Xiamen City office once again sprang into action. Turning back the time to July 30th at half past zero at the Xiamen City office. The doors opened to give 141 metro workers and their family members to stay safe during the storm. The provincial government asked us to prepare for emergency shelters, so we are acting on it. As the families rest, city volunteers get to work preparing for the day. It is now 2.30 a.m. on the 30th. It is now yet 5 a.m., but the kitchen is already bustling with activity. On this end, the families help set up the tables and chairs. Finally, breakfast is served with love and care. Although the typhoons are scary, but thinking about how much care we have received by the government by Ciji is not scary anymore.
实际 people need to be prepared for this type of situations at all time. When we receive the call, we spring into action. That is our mission and responsibility. Treating everyone like family, together they will get through this typhoon day. As people rely more heavily on using smartphones, their ways of learning have also changed. Since digital learning was introduced in Taiwan, it has been widely used by different schools. For many students, interactive learning through games is simply more attractive than memorizing the materials in textbooks. However, some students still have to learn in traditional settings. Therefore, striking a balance and cultivating a high-quality learning environment for all remains a challenge. Finding answers by Googling, people nowadays rely on internet technology in different ways. When one can learn through video games, memorization has become a thing of the past. If you keep writing about problems given in the textbook, the students might get tired of them. The textbooks are still unlike videos. They don't talk nor interact with you. With videos and interactive learning, these resources are free. Soon after digital learning was introduced in Taiwan, it started a revolution. This is a math class that does not use blackboards. The computers of the class are interconnected, and the teacher uses a handwriting tablet to write the equations. Then there's more. In the virtual world, the class content is included in this game. Pagamo, which is an online gaming platform for learning, has been created by Professor Ye Bingchen of Taiwan University. Many children are attracted to play the games. After using it frequently for one or two months, he will discover that his academic performance has improved. Therefore, he would have a sense of achievement. New Taipei City government has been the first to sign a contract with Pagamo in April. It started a new trend in elementary and high schools. Sometimes students are better at playing games. When the games can be integrated into his learning, he will take the initiative to learn. Whether the term is digital learning or educational science, interactive digital learning has already been widely used in Taiwan. The most widely used Junyi Academy has incorporated learning resources of all elementary and high schools. It is followed by Pagamo, who has 500,000 users in and outside of Taiwan. MOOC is the acronym for Massive Open Online Course, which literally means a massive use of online courses. The massive use of online courses, or MOOC, has been adopted by the Ministry of Education. It encourages the schools to find the most suitable learning platform. The spirit of MOOC is that if you are willing to learn, these learning resources are all free of charge. Walking to the computer classrooms, people will soon realize there is a danger behind reliance on digital learning. There are some students lagging behind. Students' learning motivation could deteriorate year after year. Most students feel like giving up when they see textbooks. I don't like social science and geography because I do not want to memorize materials. Therefore, last time I've only scored 50 points. The confessions of the students might not be what the parents really want to hear.
Sometimes people joke around and say that many parents are raising kids relying on their smartphones. When the children are used to getting information from videos, our teaching modes also need to be adjusted. The rise of digital learning has revolutionized the way students learn. However, since some students still have to learn in traditional settings, achieving a balance and cultivating a high-quality learning environment remain a challenge. In our next report, we meet 15-year-old Zhan Fuxiang from Taichung, who bonds with his father through music and singing. Zhan started to learn to sing and play instruments with his father after his father was injured in a traffic accident. The young boy usually uses his time off to give performances at different occasions to earn some money for his family. Although life is difficult for him, he never complains, as he just wants to pay the love forward for those who have helped him. Do not sing too hard. Your vocals need to be softer. This is the special way that Zhang Fuxiang and his father practice singing. Twelve years ago, Zhang's father was injured in a traffic accident, and since then he has been unable to work. In his darkest hours, he discovered that his son has a talent for singing. He was a kindergartner when I had a car accident. Every time I sang the songs of the Taiwanese singer Wang Liyou, he would usually sing alone. I thought he has a talent for singing. The thing I want is to warm people's heart with my singing. I hope that in the future, more people can get to know me through music. By giving performances, I can earn some money to make up my family's finances, which can also relieve my mother's burden. My mom told me that there are some children who are poorer than me. I'm fortunate already because I still have parents by my side. <laughs> Zhang's mother works at a factory, and his father teaches him to sing. Although Zhang is not from the rich family, he knows to cherish his blessings and help those in need. Besides giving performances at different occasions, he also performs for some charity events. We feel very happy because this child knows how to give of himself. He works diligently, and he helps take care of his brother and the family. Every time the music begins, John enjoys the notes and melody as he believes that his passion for music will continue to glow and light up his life. On July 29th, the annual sutra performance by the young volunteers of the Jingsi Buxan Cafe was held at the Humanitarian Center in Guangdu. Many of the parents expressed that though their children might not fully know how to read, through these songs and lyrics, the Dharma teachings have been actualized in their children's everyday life. Fulfilling one's filial duties cannot wait. Through song and music, the young volunteers know how to be a good child. Three hundred and fifteen young volunteers of the Jingsi Books and Cafe have been preparing for this performance since early July. And although many of the children might not even read, they can still recite these Dharma lessons with ease. I think it's a good idea for them to understand Dharma teachings. When the teachers are leading them to understand the lessons, they will later go home and read Jinsi Avery's and stories and say, I should do the things I need to do and not worry my parents. I think she's pretty amazing. She's only three and a half, and I thought maybe she won't fully understand it, but she memorized it all. She practices diligently and sings the songs whenever it strikes her fancy. Through the sutra performance, the children have learned humanitarian lessons and ways to fulfill filial duties. It is evident that this tiny seed of compassion will grow and mature just as these children do. 
Recently, the managing director of Dai TV, Susan Ye, led a team of staff from Dai TV in Taiwan to promote the station in Malaysia. At their stop at the Kuala Lumpur Jing Si Hall, the audience got to know the city's cultural mission, as well as the role Dai TV plays in it. We have all kinds of programs like education, knowledge, dramas, Taiwanese operas, and other documentaries, and we use them to awaken people. The managing director of Dan I TV, Susan Yet, is in Kuala Lumpur with her staff to tell the audiences the role of Dan I TV. TV media are models for society. When the society is watching certain kinds of TV programs, you discover that whole society is moving in that direction. A businessman from Taiwan tells the audiences how he changed his life after watching Dai TV. We can see many kinds of programs at Dai TV. If we can make this stream of purity circle around the globe and purify people's hearts, wouldn't that be wonderful? Dai TV is good, it has love and is educational. I want to donate 10 ringgits to support the master's teaching so it can also benefit other people. Dai TV is invincible, so it has influences on us in our daily lives. Dai TV staff also meets up with the documenting volunteers, encourage them to continue recording Siji volunteers' footprints of love. Continuing their promotional tour of Malaysia, Susan Ye and the rest of the Dai TV delegation also visited Kedah, where they not only emphasized Dai TV's mission, but also took the chance to thank the recycling volunteers for being the station's strongest supporters. I like watching Wisdom Adon. I like watching Dai dramas. I usually like to watch Dai dramas. Good. I like to watch Dai operas. I like watching Life Wisdom. I like watching Life Wisdom. Yeah. If we want to invite people to join Siji, the best material we can use is the contents from our Dai media. We like to welcome people to use them. Let's use them and get more people to join Siji. I learned to be content from watching Dai TV because I saw some suffering people had nothing, but they were very happy. Is this okay that I introduce a big boss so you can know him, okay? The master says she cherishes elderly volunteers. If you've been doing recycling for a long time, your fingers will appear like his. All these areas will pop up. The master said they are the most beautiful diamond rings in the world. Before the double typhoon arrived in Taiwan last weekend, Siji volunteers visited their care recipients in Jilong and Taipei to deliver some relief items and made sure their needs were met. We'll leave you with these images at the end of our program. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.